internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a different video. I actually don't even know what this video is going to be about, but I figured I'd film it anyways and then just see if anybody finds it interesting. So this is a new journal. It's a little worse for wear because it traveled back from Japan with me. I'm actually not really sure on the brand. I think it's called Marks. I'm not really 100% sure. Marks Inc. Marks Inc. I don't know. So I found this journal really randomly in Loft. I think I was in Sapporo at the time. Pretty sure it was in Sapporo. Um, and I've never heard of this brand before, Marks Inc. And the thing that really caught my eye, and it's going to be hard to show you without opening it, but I guess I will have to open it, is that this is actually a ring bound planner, but the, um, the covers are really flexible and very like flimsy in that sense. I find, and I like that the rings are qu quite small. My experience and the one I'm currently using that's kind of the same shape is the Kiki K A5 planner. The rings are really big and the covers are really solid and thick. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I've been really looking for something a little bit more, I don't know, flexible, I suppose. I just find them easier to store, easy to use, easy to write in. Sometimes I find writing in the Kiki K very rigid and I have to take the inserts out to be comfortable writing in them. And I really like to just keep everything in. So I've just never come across a planner like this. This could be like very obviously in a lot of different shops in Australia, but I just haven't seen it before. What I really liked about this particular journal brand is that you would get the cover on its own and there was like a ton of different insets you could get that would match it 100%. I had to think about it. I really don't need another journal. <laughs> like I really, really don't need none. But I do, I have been wanting to try and store more business related stuff in a journal somewhere physically. A lot of the stuff that I do um, work wise is always stored digitally. So I decided to take the plunge and I bought not only the cover, but a bunch of insets to go with it. And I'm really hoping that I enjoy using this. I guess we're going to find out. But I thought I would just show you guys the journal, how it is and everything, walk you through the inserts that I did pick up. Let's get into just the cover first. So let's take the plastic. It's this still, I haven't opened it since coming back from Japan. So there's still plastic everywhere. So I have to recycle all of this. So I don't know, the cover is kind of like a, it kind of like faux leather sort of material. It's really nice. It feels quite luxurious, but as you can see, it is very like flimsy. I can bend it. it feels easy to use. I love that the rings aren't too large as well and it comes with these inserts to begin with which I think are just the dot grid inserts. That's the other thing. It's really hard for me at least to find dot grid. Let me open these inserts up just to see what they are. And I think it's like a collection of different inserts. Yeah, there we go. All right. Ooh, I hope I didn't double up but if I did, well, now I know. So it comes with Okay, instruction page, so the front page. Actually, maybe I'll put these back in. The only thing I don't like about ring bound planners is that sort of curve at the bottom. Like, do you see how the paper kind of curves a little bit? That just, I think that just comes with the territory when you use ring bounds, because I've not found one that isn't like that. But yeah, so you have your front page and then you have some dot grid. And I love how feminine everything is. It's very like soft and pink and pastel. You have your monthly view up to 12 months or so, I'm guessing, maybe not. Okay. It's like three months, more dot grid. And then you've got a weekly view. Everything is undated, so you can start anytime, which is what I really liked because I knew that I could just take my time with it, ease into it, see how I go. So you've got a whole bunch of weekly. It's kind of like a, a bit of a taste of different insets, but you don't have like the complete set. So if you do want the complete set, you do have to buy it more dot grid and then so it's a different version of the weekly view so you can have that like um more horizontal plan this is what i would consider the vertical plan using the terminology from erin condren i quite like it. it does have bullet points here so you can kind of write down what you're supposed to do that day and then we have some plain pink paper which is always nice and some lined paper and then at the end we have some more dot grid so that's what comes with it it's pretty sufficient to start with, but I think if you're going to use it more long term, you definitely need more. But yeah, so it does come with a little pen holder as well. I would say I'm not really sure how durable this fabric or material is. I feel like I can already see kind of some dents coming through. I would say that if you're going to stack things on it, it's probably not going to be super durable. Like it might have some imprints or marks on it. So I'd be kind of aware of that. That's the downside of it being so flexible is that it is probably more 
likely to get damaged if you're not careful with it but I'm hoping that I think I'll just keep this mostly on my desk or at least on a shelf at home I don't intend to bring this out of the house so I think it should be okay for that reason so I thought I would go through some of the insets I've bought I have still no idea how I'm gonna arrange it probably won't do it in this video because I think I want to experiment a little bit and just see how things go but if you guys are interested I can always do a walkthrough later and show you guys what I ended up with first thing I got was these little I'm gonna come up a little bit more so you can see they're like little sticky notes that you can with perforated edges that you can tear off and kind of move around so you can plan out your entire month of like different to do's that you want to do on each day and then on the monthly view you can just tear out the Tuesday and put that onto a specific Tuesday I thought that was such a cool idea like I'd never seen something like this before that's so cute so I definitely want to try this out I might put some of these in as I go otherwise I'm gonna forget so we have some index cards just to kind of separate each section of the planner there we go so I think it's four index cards they're all transparent so you can put your own labels on them I'm gonna really have to reorganize this later but let's just put it in for now don't know how many separators I'm going to actually need, but yeah. Okay, this one I might not put in because I really don't know which one I'm going to go with. And this is the, you saw this before, it's the weekly view. So you can have like a horizontal version or you can have the vertical version. I bought both because I really at the time wasn't sure which one I think I would stick with. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put these aside. I'll put them in storage for a little bit and I'll use the ones that I currently have that came with the journal and just kind of see which one feels more natural. To be honest, because they're not dated, I can use all of them interchangeably and it wouldn't matter which I think I might actually end up doing. Then we have some dotted paper, dot grid paper, which I already have some in here, so I won't open this yet, but at least I love using dot grid paper. I find it really hard to find dot grid notebooks. It's always lined blank or gridded, but not dot gridded. It's something that I got too because I love it so much. So this one's a little bit more of a personal one. I don't know if I will use it for business purposes or whether I might use this planner for like slash business slash personal, but it's basically some blank pages that you can use that's just more like um, self-motivating. So the title says, what am I and my ideal self? And it's kind of like just kind of mapping out your personality, I suppose. But I ended up actually buying it mostly for this one because this actually is like a meal tracking sort of journal where you can say what you're having in the morning, lunch, dinners, and they have your weight here. And then if you want to lose weight, to be honest, I'm not really in the mindset of I need to be a certain weight or anything like that. I'm more focused on how much energy I have and how I'm feeling and all that sort of stuff. And so I'm trying to work out how my uh, food intake and the things I eat affects how I feel and how energetic I feel during the day. So rather, I know it says, I don't know if you can see it, it's probably hard to see, just right here the title actually says results. So it doesn't have to be about weight, it can be about anything and I'm going to be most likely just tracking how I feel. I thought that was such a cool concept, I hadn't seen that anywhere. And then the last one is the monthly blocks, which we've already seen in this one. So I really, like, I'm coming to realize now that I don't think I need to open any of these just yet, that I can just use the journal on its own and see how I go. But yeah, it's exactly the same. You have your monthly blocks, and I think there are, they said this one has 12 months in it, so I can go on, because the one in here only has three months, so I can keep going if I'm happy using it. So yeah, that's everything that I bought for my new Marks Inc journal. Um, I don't know if this particular journal has a name for it or anything like that. So thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you internet.